Hi everybody, this is Bob with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at tuning your kick drum. Now, sometimes you pull in a loop for your kick drum and it's out of tune and out of the key of the song. Well, let me just play you the track first here, uh, this one section of the song here. Now this kick drum, if you take a listen here, let me let me solo it up with the bass. Here's the bass. The song was done in the key of C, and here's the kick. You can obviously hear that it's lower. So we need to figure out what frequency that is that's resonating in this kick drum. So I'm going to pull up a, an EQ and just turn on the analyzer here. And you can see it's somewhere around 60 hertz. So I'm just going to grab one here and just narrow the Q down as far as it'll go and boost it up and come down here. There it is right there. It's 50, the frequency is 55. So let me go to a chart here that I downloaded off the internet. You can just do a search for bass frequencies or frequencies and you'll find something like this. So here's my chart and it's going to show me that 55 here is the uh, note A. So the problem is my song's in the key of C. And so if I go, I don't want to go down to this C here that's too low. So I want to keep it somewhere around 60 to 80 hertz, somewhere around there. So if I want to go up to C, I can see that 65 or 66 in that range. So if I go back over to my EQ and just simply try to take it and tune it, um, well, well, let's see what happens here. I'm going to pull this up to 65. We can see that I moved the fundamental frequency up to 65, but now the kick drum is out of tune with itself. So sounds bad, right? So obviously, that's where it's resonating is at 55 hertz, and that's that A note. So I need to use a pitch correction plug-in. Let me grab one here. Now I'm going to use this pitch shifter and just to show it to you that um, you might want to try this. Uh, I'm trying to go from A to C, so I need to go up three semitones, right? If I go one, two, three, I've gone in a positive direction. This goes negative and positive. You can try that. Um, I get some strange artifacts with this, but it really kind of depends on your on your kick that you're using. So select it to drums, go up to 100%, and then I move it up three semitones. But um, I'm just going to use one that I've had the most success with. Like I said, this um, has created some artifacts that I'd, I didn't have a lot of success with that one. So I'm going to go over and select the pitch correction plug-in, and that looks like this. So I'm going to pull the response time down to zero. And each one of these highlighted notes is what it's going to correct to. So I'm just going to turn them off. But I'm not trying to tune a bunch of notes. I only want my kick drum to snap to C. So it's at A now. I want to snap to C. So let's see how this one works. OK, I need to move. It didn't, <laughs> I didn't see anything on the equalizer because the pitch correction was after the equalizer. So there we go. Now you can hear that it's really dissonant because I've pulled up 55 hertz, but now it's tuned to C, which is 65. So let me move this over to 65. ring in there at 64 you can hear that frequency really popping out now okay that's going to be in the key of my song the other thing that you should know is that if I double this frequency 128 
that's going to be an octave higher. So if there's any harmonic overtones in this kick, I can pull them out by doubling the frequency. So I pulled down the fundamental frequency and now I've gone an octave higher and you can hear that's 128. So depending on the effect that you're going for, you may want to grab some of these overtones. So if I double 128 again, I will get an octave higher. So you can play around like this. And conversely, if you don't like that ringiness that you're getting in your frequency, you can pull it down. So check this out. So I'm going to try tuning it about like so, and let's see how it sounds in the track now. Now I soloed up the bass here, and now you can hear that it's in tune with the uh, bass. If I take my pitch correction plug-in off, check it out. Sounds bad, doesn't it? And here's the pitch correction back on. And here it is in the track. Let me show you one other thing with the EQ. Let me solo up this kick. In addition to the fundamental and some of these overtones and then feel free to just keep doubling this frequency and play with some of these overtones it's going to depend on your kick drum as to what you can pull out of there but here's another thing you can do is add some high end to give it a little punch So there you go, a great way to tune your kick drum using the pitch correction plug-in and then um, using your frequency analyzer in your EQ and then pull out some of those uh, harmonics in addition to the fundamental frequency. Have fun with that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Dance, yeah. na, 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 na.